name is Grace. Today, I am going to read the Bible story. Today, the Bible title is... God's Amazing Pro... Abraham's Big Test. Abraham's Big Test. Abraham and Isaac. Genesis 15, chapter 2, 1 to 6, chapter 21, till 1 to 7, chapter 22, 1 till 19. God promised Abraham a son, and from that son, many descendants, who would bless the whole world. But Abraham and his wife Sarah were too old to have children. God has promised to Abraham to give one son. From that son, many descendants who bless the whole world. But Abraham and Sarah, Sarah, the wife of Abraham, was too old to have children. Twenty years went by. Still, Abraham trusted God's promise. When he was 100 and Sarah was 90, God reminded them of his promise. Sarah was going to have a baby. They were very old. They were a grandmother and grandfather. But they still didn't have no babies. And God has kept the promise and gave the baby when Sarah was 19 years old and Abraham was 100 years old. That means Sarah was going to have a baby and God has kept the promise. son was born, Sarah was so joyful that she laughed. God has brought me laughter, she said. So they named their son Isaac, which means he laughs. And suddenly the baby has born. And so Sarah was so joyful and she was so proud. So he named it Isaac. Isaac means he laughs like laugh. Question. God promised Abraham a son whose descendants would bless the world. True or false? Yes, God has gave Abraham one son called Isaac who will bless the whole world. When Isaac was a boy, God tested Abraham by telling him to take Isaac to Mount Moriah and kill him as a sacrifice to God. Abraham was confused, but still he trusted God. And one day, God was giving one test F to Abraham. And God said, you should sacrifice Isaac. Like when we sacrifice someone, we have to kill. And God said, sacrifice Isaac. But Abraham cannot believe because God has just gave Isaac and he's saying to sacrifice. But 
he still trust God. Isaac carried the wood, and Abraham held the knife and torch. Together they climbed the mountain. Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? asked Isaac. God will provide it, Abraham replied. So Isaac was carrying wood and Abraham held the knife and torch like those things and they were climbing and Isaac was saying why well, you're not bringing the sacrifice lamb for sacrifice and Abraham said God will give us don't worry <laughs> the wood on an altar, tied up Isaac, and laid him on the wood. As he raised the knife to kill Isaac, an angel called his name, Abraham. And he like, tied up Isaac and put him on the sacrifice, an altar. And Isaac was like, not like, oh, what are you doing? Not like this. He was just laying down because he knew that God has said to Ar his father, Abraham. And Abraham was going to kill Isaac. And suddenly, one voice came from the sky, from the heaven, and an angel Abraham, don't kill him! <laughs> the angel were calling him. Question! What did God tell Abraham to kill as a sacrifice? Number one, a donkey. Number two, Isaac. Number three, a lamb. Which one did God say to do? Sacrifice. Number one, two, three. Two is right. God said to sacrifice Isaac on the altar. Don't hurt the boy, the angel cried. God knows you trust his promise. Look, there in the bushes, a ram is caught by its horns. Sacrifice that instead. So, an angel said, Abraham, don't hurt the boy. Now, God knows you trust God. Bush in the bush, there's one lamb. Sacrifice that instead of Isaac. So, really, God has prepared instead of Isaac. Abraham is very happy. sacrificed the ram instead of his son. He called the place God will provide because God provided the sacrifice. Just as God had said, his promise came true. So Abraham sacrificed the lamb instead of his son and called this God. God will produce because God has really produced the sacrifice for Isaac instead of Isaac and really he 
his premise is true. Question. Did Abraham believe God would really keep his promise? Yes, he believed it. So he also, like, go, were going to sacrifice Isaac on the altar. Correct. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? Today we have read Abraham's big test. Yeah, next time, let's see again. Bye.